Hey, Kevin with IQ Power Tools. So you got your brand new TS244 from IQ. Got it all set up in your shop, you're ready to go to work. Right off the bat, there's a few things we wanna run through and show you some things on the saw. Cause I get these questions in here all the time here at IQ being the service manager. So number one thing is you're gonna notice that your table, new from the factory, the louvers aren't cut out yet. So your very first cut, you're gonna make, you're gonna undo your table here, put the head all the way down, lock it, and go ahead and cut, make that first cut through all those louvers. That's your dust containment on the saw. If you leave it up, we've had people call and they're leaving it up just beyond the top of the table so they don't cut into that plastic. Well, that doesn't give the vacuum time to pull the dust down through your vacuum port into your dust collection system. So first thing you want to do is cut that. Now, if you're ever going to remove the table, a little lever right there that lets the table come off. You need to always remember to push that back the other way, or when you load the saw, the table will come off. And we've even had them come off the back of the truck. So you always want to remember to put that stop back on there and lock your table. Okay, back to the control module. You'll notice you have a light system here. You've got green, yellow, and red. It's really just like a traffic light. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is try to keep your cuts in between that green and yellow. You can touch into the red, but you don't wanna be cutting anything uh, in the red for very long, or you'll probably trip the overload, safety overload feature there. But the thing is, if you're cutting into the red, it's generally a pretty good indication what you're cutting is too hard, possibly, for the blade that you're using, and it's creating too much resistance on the motor. So that's a safety feature. So we'll go more into the blade and how you make your cuts. But for starters, when you get the saw and you're set up and you make that first cut, it may cut very well. I've seen some materials will cut extremely well. But then you may have that situation where you have an awful cut. It's chipping, the blades walking off, going different directions. That's an indication that that blade needs to be conditioned. Make another cut, make another cut. Make sure you're using the material that you're gonna use on the job. Take a scrap, make 10, 12, maybe even 15 cuts. You'll see each cut improve as you go through. So that's something we always want people to make sure that you condition that blade before you move forward. Okay, we'll go into some other features here on how to change the blade, how to remove the blade guard, um, how to set the saw up and take it down. And then later on, we'll get into how to do the annual tune-up on the saw. 